2021, we saw a strong Cavaliers baseball program make a memorable run, escaping the loser's bracket in the Columbia Super Regional before defeating ODU twice in a row in the Super Regional Final to qualify for the program's first trip to the College World Series since their national championship win in 2015. The only unranked team to qualify last summer, UVA did not disappoint in their run at the College World Series, putting on a spectacular showing with a first-round win over number 3 Tennessee before losing 7-6 to to Mississippi State and falling 6-2 to to Texas to end their highly successful campaign. With the departure of many major pieces from the 2021 College World Series team, notably starting pitchers Andrew Abbott, Griff McGarry, and Mike Vassell, all of whom were selected in the 2021 MLB draft, as well as key position players in third baseman Zach Geloff, shortstop Nick Kent, and catcher Logan Michaels, this year's team came into the season having lost a lot a very strong talent. Looking forward to seeing our club grow. Uh, certainly lost a lot off last year's team, um, both position player-wise and pitching, but I think that there's really good talent and skill on this club. I think we just need to grow and, and have some guys uh, get some very, very valuable experience. Anytime a team loses veteran talent like last year's team and shifts towards relying on younger, inexperienced players, one may expect to see some struggles early in the season. That has not been the case for your 2022 Virginia Cavaliers baseball team. Despite some recent struggles, the 2022 Virginia baseball team has put together one of the best starts to a Virginia baseball season in program history. The Hoos collected 14 consecutive wins to start the season, including a three-game series sweep of Cornell, in which second-year standout third baseman Jake Geloff collected 13 RBI. The streak came to an end with a 6-7 loss in the series finale at Duke on March 13th. Over the course of the win streak, the Hoos had an average run differential of 9.92 runs per game. After the loss to Duke, the Hoos picked right back up on their run, picking up eight consecutive wins, including a sweep of fellow ACC program Boston College, a three-game slate on the road against consensus top-10 team, in the University of Miami. For the Hoos, unfortunately, this series ended up being a bit of a reality check. The Cavaliers lost all three games to number eight Miami down in Coral Gables, Florida. The first two games were both competitive, with game two very close until the end. Game three was an embarrassing one all around, with Virginia pitching issuing 13 walks and the Hoos losing the series finale 15 to five. Baseball seasons are long, and any ball player knows that ebbs and flows are to be expected. After the tough series against Miami, however, the Hoos entered the worst stretch of their season thus far, falling to ODU at home on April 12th, 9-2, in which the Hoos collected just five hits compared to ODU's eight, while the pitching staff issued nine walks compared to just two from ODU. The Hoos went on to lose three of their next four after the loss to ODU, including a conference series loss to Pitt, with the lone bright spot coming in an 18-0 blowout in Game 2 of that series. After their slew of struggles, the Cavaliers were dropped to number 11 in the AP poll, and many Who fans felt concerned with the direction of the team. Maybe their blistering start to the season was just somewhat of a fluke, and your Virginia baseball team has shown some true grit in the last week to pick up some key wins to try to right this ship and get out of this midseason slump. In their game against Georgetown at the Dish last week, the Hoos found themselves in an early 3-0 hole in the bottom of the first, but quickly struck back against the Hoyas, with first baseman Devin Ortiz ripping a two-run single past the Georgetown third baseman. The Hoos tied the game on a walk, and it stayed that way deep into the night. First-year relief pitcher Jay Wolfuck, they remember also plays QB for the Cavalier football team, has been a solid pitcher out of the bullpen this year for the Cavs and had his best outing of the year against Georgetown, pitching one and two-thirds innings and striking out five consecutive batters to hold the game at a 4-4 tie. With the bases loaded in the eighth inning, Virginia capitalized on a Georgetown error, followed by an RBI single from standout second-year catcher Kyle Teal to make it a 6-4 game, which ended up being the final score. Though it might not appear so on paper, That was an important win for the Hoos, 
both statistically, but more importantly, morally, for the Cavaliers going into their current series against fellow ACC team North Carolina. In the first game of the series, a combination of timely hitting, strong defense, and excellent pitching helped the Hoos take the opener 4-2 on a beautiful evening at the dish. A two-out RBI double by Alex Tappan put the Hoos on the board in the bottom of the first. The rest of the game offensively was carried by two youngsters, first years Colin Tuft and Griffin O'Farrell. Tuft hit his first UVA home run, a solo shot over the left field wall in the bottom of the second inning to give the Hoos a 2-1 lead. In the top of the fourth with two outs, Jake Geloff made this ridiculous highlight play at third base to keep the Cavaliers' lead intact. In the bottom of the seventh, first year, and starting shortstop Griffin O'Farrell went yard over the left field wall to put the Cavs up 3-2, a lead that would ultimately hold as Virginia closed out the game, winning, a, in a, winning an important first game in this ACC series, four runs to two. The Cavaliers will look to continue building this momentum back up in the rest of their series against UNC this weekend.